So we oppose this one size fits all approach to the regulatory process. Mr. McGovern, let me, let me try something. The bill as written says that the agency could simply extend it without having to go through a process. So they could, as an agency, say, we looked at regulation one, two, three. We think it's a working regulation. And they could simply extend it. That's in the draft of the bill. So the idea that the regulation is automatically repealed, they would have to look at it, conclude that they liked it, and then extend it. They wouldn't have to go through a, another process to do that. So that would that would force them to look at it and say, this is doing well, to your point, and they could just vote to extend it with the same authority that they had. And we do not oppose agencies reviewing their regulations. It's the automatic repeal date that we oppose. But, but the repeal date would force that agency to look at the re regulation and say, we've looked at it, we conclude that it's a good one, and they extend it. They wouldn't have to go through a drawn out process in order to do that. It would be a simple we agree and they do it. So they would have already had the, 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 the promulgation of the reg and all the things that go with it. But as you know, there are other ways of having agencies review their regulations uh, without putting it on an autopilot where the default is that you get a repeal. What would that be? Well, you've actually heard bills on that. I'm saying, but you, but you, you brought it up. What would that be? I'm well, saying if, if, if an agency decided that it wasn't going to hear a regulation, right? So let's say that I'm CARB and I decide, you know what, all my regulations are good and I'm not reviewing anything. This says, CARB, you look at it. If you decide you want to do it again, fine. But you do have to take an action to affirmatively renew it. It doesn't say, and, and they get a year within that time that they can opt out in terms of how to do it. Wait, but you, but, but, so you think every regulation that's ever done should stay in existence forever? No, on the contrary, I said that you could require agencies to review their regulations. That's what this bill does. This bill also, though, has an automatic repeal. Yeah, but if, if you don't have a, something in the, 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 the legislation that has a tooth, then there's no incentive for the agency to do the review. Well, I mean, if, if there's no consequence for not following the rule, then why do you do it? Do something, so, if, if you said to an agency, I mean, right now an agency can review a regulation that they've done. They don't because there's no incentive. Right. What I'm saying is you could require them to review the regulations. But, but, but what if they don't? Well, the, the question of how uh, agencies are required to comply with laws passed by the legislature is a very good one. You know, if, I had a, if I had a nickel for every report and regulation that we've asked agencies to do around here, I could retire and my kids could retire. Because absent there being a consequence, they simply don't. So this would say, if there's something that's important to you, then you have to affirmatively vote to extend it. Doesn't even say they have to have a proceeding, just a majority vote of that committee. It could be placed on the agenda and done, and there's not a whole lot of, of, of regulation or things that go with it. And th that agency would have to be responsible to monitor that it actually is doing the work. They don't have to promulgate the reg. They don't have to rewrite it. They just have to say reg one, two, three is extended, period, done. And if they don't do that, then the reg goes away. But, it, but that provides a consequence for not following the law. I think most of what you're going to see coming from the legislature, given the abject failure of so many of the agencies to follow through, we don't get the reports. They don't have to do them. There's no consequences if they don't. I mean, I've been in the legislature. I've actually zeroed out the budgets of agencies because they just decided we ain't doing the report. We don't care because there's very little consequence for not following through. This just says you'll review the re your own regulation. And it's not every regulation every year because they don't all have the same date. You get a year in which to look at it before the bill is repealed. You would look at that. You'd make a finding at, at the staff level. And you'd say, we're going to place A, B, 1, 2, 3 back on the book and we'll extend it. Why wouldn't we do that? Because the default is that the safeguards go away. And many of these safeguards are much too important to have that be the default. But, the, but, but the default would be that the agency would follow the law and they would extend it. Well, as you've pointed out, agencies don't always follow the law. But they, they're much more applicable to follow the law when there's a consequence. I mean, we'll, we'll let it, I mean, we'll go around and we won't agree, but I just 
what your opposition was to me didn't counter with what you claim that you'd like the agencies to do. And our interest is not in, in protecting the agency's prerogatives, it's in protecting the people of California and the resources. So those important values should not be at stake if an agency fails to do its job. But what if, what if the, and I'll, and I'll let this go because I don't mean to have back and forth and I, I apologize for it. What if it was in fact a bad regulation? And what if, in fact, the resources were being abused? What if, in fact, the people of California were being disadvantaged and the agency didn't want to admit that they were, in fact, following a bad regulation? Now it comes back, as we do on occasion, and it requires that we repeal a regulation in statute. I mean, one of the times that, that I saw some of that in my years in the assembly was with the PUC. Much of what we did relative to the PUC was repealing regulations that they had imposed because even when they acknowledged that it was stupid, they didn't want to admit their own stupidity. So we then had to try to go in with statute. Often statutes are much more complicated because they're statutes as opposed to regulations. I prefer regs when you have an agency that works well. Most of what happened in the energy crisis was in large part due to the regulatory agencies and not the legislature. But the problem becomes is that people don't have an opportunity to vote out or, re or, or, or recall the PUC, so you end up where it comes back here to us. So my, my concern becomes is that if an agency is not going to be responsible enough to look at its own regs and say, by a majority vote one day with a 30-day notice, we're extending the bill to protect the environment, fine. And if they fail to do that, I'm sure you who follow those agencies would make sure that within the year that it was on their agenda because you wouldn't let them fail to do it because that's what you do every day. Well, I actually agree with a lot of what you said about uh, how difficult it is for the legislature to get involved in the regulations and repeal those, and it's preferable to have that delegated to the agencies. Sometimes it, the legislature does need to get involved. I just think that in terms of the bad regulations, and certainly I agree that there are some, it takes more of a surgical approach than this across the board, one size fits all. Okay, and, I, and thank you, and I didn't mean to, to, to keep tying you up. No, 